Hello, in front of me I've got PS5 Slim. In this video I'll show you how to connect to your PS5 account and how to manage accounts. In the beginning, from the home page, go to settings. Now enter users and accounts, go to account and select sign in. Continue. Update. Sometimes you'll have to perform system update in order to connect to your account. The system update will be proceeded automatically. Now the PS5 should turn on automatically. Now you can connect to your account via QR code or sign in manually, create an account or skip and play offline. Let's sign in manually. Now enter your sign in address email and now select sign in Continue, enter your first name, last name and now select how you'd like to receive information about new products. Tap next. Now you have to adjust privacy settings by choosing a profile. For example, let's select solo and focused. Apply. Now you can enable or disable personalized ads based on your activities. Personalized purchase recommendation. Verify your email. And now that your email is verified, you have to select your security options like require a PS5 login passcode or require passcode out at checkout. Now tap OK. Now you can select two step verification. You can add mobile number to your account. Confirm. Now you can select which apps for media should be downloaded right away. Let's unmatch them. Maybe let's leave Spotify and do this later or download. Now you can update DualSense wireless controller software. Let's select update now. And it's done. You've successfully created and logged to your account. Now let's go to settings again. Enter users and accounts. Now in account settings, you can sign in to your address email and then you can change address email, you can change security features, you can edit your publicity displayed profile, you can manage your payment and subscriptions, change your address, change language and manage communication preferences. Also you can add family member and manage your family accounts, you can manage your privacy settings, you can check linked services, authorized apps and in order you can manage console sharing and offline play, restore licenses or sign out. Then you can manage login settings and you can delete users. And that's basically it for the users and account settings. If you find this video helpful, 
please leave like, comment and subscribe.